we will talk about first we will talk about udp glucose function of udp glucose so this glucose one phosphate this is glucose one phosphate converts into udp glucose how through uridyl transferase through uridyl transferase enzyme and utp is transferred you already know about this so this is called glucose one phosphate uridyl transferase actually transfer uric utp to this glucose one phosphate uridyl transferase form udp glucose and udp glucose you know it is active molecule it is an activation step of any polymerization and we have done one polymerization that is glycogen synthesis so it is the activation is the most important for any polymerization so that is why you can see the function of udp glucose we have already done the function of udp glucose is this udp glucose is activated glucose and this activated or nucleotide glucose is required for synthesis of glycogen the same because it is activated you know glucose is also required for synthesis in glycoprotein in the form of glucosamine glucosamine okay and acetyl glucosamine and in the form of which glucuronic acid glucuronic acid so this udp glucose is required for this proteoglycan synthesis and then glycoprotein synthesis because polymerization require nucleotide activated glucose so polymer formation so this polymer formation you can see polymer of this glycogen formation gag and then polymer formation is requires activated glucose and udp glucuronic acid here so udp glucuronic acid if you see here this is udp glucuronic acid can be synthesized from oxidation of this glucose so there is nothing much different between udp glu glucose and glucuronic acid this oxidation oxidized form of udp glucose is udp glucuronic acid as simple as it is so glucuronic acid is nothing but oxidized product of glucose here you can see this udp glucose can convert into galactose so this udp glucose can convert into galactose okay this can we will talk also in galactose metabolism so one thing i will tell you galactose cannot directly convert into glucose okay this both are epimer of each other very slight difference only one position of one oh group is there fourth oh group is different in both if you see compare if you see the structure of glucose and galactose this is one carbon this is this carbon one two three four here is the difference in one here in glucose it is down oh group is down here in galactose up that is the difference so these are both are very similar but glucose cannot be directly converted into galactose galactose cannot be converted into glucose this is not possible but udp udp glucose will be converted into udp galactose and udp galactose can be inter converted into each other this udp galactose can be converted into udp glucose udp glucose can be converted into udp galactose this is done by epimerase enzyme we will talk about this reaction in galactose metabolism so that is what you can see here so this glucose can also be converted into this galactose and galactose glucose will form lactose in mammary gland so milk gland this is a very important reaction in the milk gland of any mammals okay including human being so this lactose is formed because of udp galactose convert from this glucose so our body is capable enough to make galactose from glucose so you galactose can be formed like this so polymer formation galactose formation glucuronic acid formation these are the function of this udp glucose so we have done this in detail you can understand now polymer how polymer formation requires this so this, this these are the complete function of udp glucose you must understand you must memorize that also and it is not difficult to memorize